Okay, in this video, we're going to go over what I call vectors part two. So this is part two of a series of, of um, videos on some vectors, because they're such an important part of geometry, and they're really kind of an interesting part, and we don't really deal with them enough. And I would say in this particular video, I'd like to go over the following vocabulary words or concepts, okay? What's the magnitude of a vector, the direction of a vector, what kind of notations are there to indicate vectors, and then we're going to do something a little extra. We're going to add some vectors. I'll show you how they're being used. Now remember from uh, video part one, uh, vectors part one, we talked about the different parts of a vector, and we talked about this being the initial point, this being the terminal point, and that we would draw a vector the same way that you would draw, for example, a ray. So you would say that would indicate that that's a vector AB. And we talked about the component form of a vector. And the component form basically was <clears throat> you had to indicate what the horizontal component was and what the vertical component was. All right, so let's do that. In this particular vector, we have a horizontal component of 1, 2, 3, 4, it looks like it's 5. And remember how we did that. We drew this kind of a bracket. We said it was 5 in the positive direction. And then we went ahead and did the vertical component, and that was 1, 2, 3, 4. So this vector, vector AB, could be indicated by this component form 5, 4, 5 along the horizontal, 4 along the vertical, okay? Now the direction and magnitude are actually included in here. The magnitude is the size or the length of that particular vector, of that particular line, okay? The direction is simply the direction that you're going off in. So if you had, for example, an x-y axis here, you would say this went off at an angle of, you go ahead and indicate however many degrees you'd want that to happen. Or you could also say like, you know, north, uh, northeast uh, at, you know, how many degrees, that sort of thing. There's a number of ways of actually doing these two. But for now, I only want you to know that magnitude simply means the length here and the direction is just the direction that you're going in, and it can be indicated a number of different ways, okay? Now again, this was called the component form, but there's another way of writing this, and it looks like this. Okay, so you have two large parentheses, and the horizontal component is the number on the top, and the vertical component is the number on the bottom, okay? So again, we'll call this the horizontal movement or component. Well, you don't want to call it component because then you would mix it up with this one. But just call it the horizontal movement and just call this one the vertical movement. Another way of thinking that is just the movement along the x-axis. And think of this as the movement along the y-axis. Okay? Now, let's go to another Part, and that is finally uh, adding vectors. Now you'll see what I've done here. I've got a vector from negative 4, negative 1 to positive 1, positive 3. Okay, so here's the initial point, terminal point. How would we describe this particular vector? You could say, and again let's just go ahead and label these, we'll say A, B, and C. You would say that vector AB would be, let's go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so we'll put that up there. And then we'll go its vertical component would be 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so again, we'll do it like that. Now, I'm actually going to add vector AB, sorry, there we go, to vector BC. Now, in order to do that, we also need to know what the vector is for BC. And do the exact same thing. Its horizontal movement would be 1, 2, 3, okay? And it looks like its vertical movement is 
1, 2 in the negative direction. So a negative 1, 2. Now, when I add this vector plus this vector, you actually end up with this vector, and that's vector AC. So let me just start writing this out. Vector BC will equal vector AC. But what would be this particular vector, okay? You basically just add the X components, and then you add the Y components. So this plus this equals that. And if you look at this, vector AC does indeed have a horizontal movement of 8. 1, 2, 3, starts here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then it does look like it goes up in a positive 2 direction. 1, 2, and there it is. Okay? I hope that was helpful.